wait aren't you someone who's interested in everything that flies except for birds of course that is aircraft spacecraft uh, rockets drones etc well then you have come to the right video hello everyone my name is saisan vindarma i'm an aerospace engineer by profession and today i'm going to answer most of the questions that i've received on this channel if you are someone who's new welcome do subscribe and if you are someone who's been following me for a long time i know you guys have asked me for so long for a video of this kind but i'm so sorry i couldn't uh, make it any sooner because i think this is live but here i am today i'll try to answer most of the questions that i've received about aerospace engineering on my channel and in general for people who are willing to pursue uh this course as a degree and for the people who are maybe into the industry and are looking for a job or better opportunity or are looking for a way to develop in this field so a little about myself first why am i in a position to answer any of it right you must be wondering well um i did my btech in aerospace engineering 2 years ago i completed it and i did my btech in aerospace engineering with a specialization in avionics so for some context i would tell you that aerospace engineering comes under the mechanical cluster that is it is like a branch of mechanical engineering but more specific to aerospace so my degree was even further specialized into avionics then to for to add furthermore to uh, my background and working as an aerospace engineer in one of the top uh, companies in the aerospace industry if you know you know so there are two a company and b company and i'm working for the a company and i joined the a company right after uh, my college ended So to further get into the video, I've divided this video into six parts, and uh, each part has a different topic to cover. So, firstly, what is aerospace engineering? Right? What does it mean? Well, aerospace en- engineering is a branch of mechanical cluster. That is mechanical engineering. So, what you can expect from it is it is the designing, development, manufacturing, maintenance, innovation. of everything that flies which is aircraft drones spacecraft helicopters maybe some futuristic aircraft that might come so research and development on that field uh aerospace engineering has basically two branches that is aeronautical which deals with everything that flies within the earth's atmosphere and astronautical that deals with everything that flies outside the earth uh, earth's atmos- atmosphere that is spacecraft and in aeronautical mainly aircraft so that basically sums up what aerospace engineering is actually course and timeline uh now what to expect from the course and what will be the timeline well if you're someone who's uh, willing to take up uh, aerospace engineering as a bachelor's degree that is btech in aerospace engineering like i did then the course will be of four years like any other bachelor's degree in technology and the first two years you will be um, studying mostly the core engineering topics that is mathematics physics and you know thermodynamics material sciences fluid mechanics and computer programming and in the last two years is where the fun actually begins you will start uh, with your core subjects in aerospace engineering that is aerodynamics flight mechanics aircraft structures propulsion systems etc and uh, most of the colleges also have practical labs you know for uh, tunnel testing and you know you you get to build a project there is only you will be working on your major project also where you'll get to develop a drone or a car or any kind of research work in the field of aerospace so for example in my project we built a fire fighting drone it was a team of four of us and we built a fire fighting drone for our major project something like that you will do which will give you a very uh, good hands on experience in the field of aerospace now if you're someone who who has done your btech 
and you are trying to pursue masters well i have not pursued masters or ms after my tech degree as of now but if you want to further specialize the masters degree can be a great option uh it takes around 2 years and you can uh you know focus on advanced areas like computational fluid dynamics that is cfd you can do air, you can do your masters in aerospace structures or you can do propulsion or space systems anything that you like specifically so you can choose a topic within the aerospace uh, course and you can dwell on it further and develop on it further for your masters or ms degree which are the colleges that offer this course well of course the top aerospace engineering colleges include the iits iit bombay iit madras iit kanpur iit kharagpur these are the top iit iits with a strong pro- program in aerospace engineering then there is iist uh, that is indian institute of space science and technology if you dream is to work at isro then this is the place that you need to be it's difficult uh, it's uh, sorry it's directly affiliated with isro and graduates have a high chance of getting into isro right after the college then there are private colleges like mit manipal then uh, hindustan institute of technology this amity university and even i did my course from a private college that is university of petroleum and energy studies which is in dehradun there also the course is pretty intricate we have proper labs for maybe say wind tunnel wind, te- wind tunnel testing we have a wind tunnel there if you want to study of broad then i believe the process is very different there are top ivy league colleges like mit then there's stanford caltech georgia university university of michigan in the us then in uk there's university of cambridge imperial college london i'll uh i'll list down all the colleges in the description or maybe you can find it in the video i don't know how i'll put it there but yeah uh if you need further assistance in selecting a college do let me know i'll make a detailed video on this topic because it's it's a vast topic i can't cover it in this video now the other question that i've received a lot is should you do a master's degree and if yes what should you specialize in right Well a master's degree can be a way to focus on a specific area and get into high paying uh, uh you know research and development jobs some of the most in demand specializations are as follows that is aerodynamics and cfd used for designing high performance aircrafts and rockets there is uh propulsion and combustion i believe then there is aer- uh, aerospace structures and materials i personally uh, am working in the field of aircraft structures and um, i love it i maybe I, later on i'll pursue my masters in the field of structures only then there's avi- avionics and control systems for example my bachelor's degree was with a specialization in avionics which gave me a very good insight into how the electronic systems work and it's a, it's a good it's a good field and i believe it's in demand as well then there's space systems and satellite technology which is free self explanatory by the words in india uh, iisc bangalore iits and iist uh, have strong aerospace masters program and uh, if you're looking internationally i believe us and europe are the best choices now to move further and to the most important topic that is job opportunities in india well All right, let's talk about jobs. What can you do after the degree, especially in India? Uh, so we have government organizations that is ISRO, DRDO, HAL, and NAL. Uh, we, I think, you can get into clearing your GATE exams, and uh, you can join these government organizations. And uh, then there are private aerospace companies like Airbus, Boeing. Rolls Royce, Saffron G, Aviation. Now, if you're someone who's very passionate about aerospace, you must know that the amount of startups that are coming up in this field are also insane, and people are trying to develop uh, different drones uh, for different kind of utilities, uh, different kind of aerospace projects, satellites, whatnot. So, I would say that the job market is quite. Uh, new though uh, 
and quite abundant also but is it difficult to land a job or find a job that is relevant to what you want to do with a good pay i would say yes it is it is pretty difficult to especially get into the organizations that are well established like airbus or boeing um definitely uh, and then uh, if you go to startups Uh, I don't want to understate or overstate anything or anyone. But if you go to startups, then they usually the pays are not that good. Although the work is good, you will get to learn a lot. You will get to uh, spend a lot of time in innovation and in uh, and innovating stuff uh, that is uh, kind of um, new in the industry. You will get a very good hands-on experience at. Um, Uh, startups if you join but the pay might not be that good while if you are trying to join a well established organizations like airbus boeing safran etc there there's not much uh, there's not much innovation that you'll be working on uh, it's all pretty pretty defined because these are companies which are old they are already pretty established and innovation is something that you won't be working on uh, per se but the pay would be good the job security uh, you will get to see the industry from a very close perspective personally i have was lucky to get in a very reputed company uh, at the very starting of my career i got a very good hands on experience uh, now to now to land a job in aerospace industry uh, with a top employer is it difficult definitely but it is achievable try to get into a college that has a good placement record uh, where the top companies come because college placements are always the easiest and better and the best so if you're going for a private college also do look at the placement record personally for me uh, i didn't get my um, placement through my college i didn't get it through university of petroleum and energy studies i got it off campus by applying on my own so uh, because my college honestly didn't have a very good placement record in the field of aerospace industry and the company that i am in that is the a company doesn't even come to my college so i did it on my own so if you're uh, keen on doing that and if you have some contacts if not necessarily contacts you can build contacts obviously through linkedin which is what i did get a referral get into the system it's just like that you just have to get your resume into the system if you are doing it off campus but it's it's definitely difficult but definitely not impossible now let's see what is left yeah so my personal experience i think throughout the video i have talked about it pretty intricately i have given examples of my personal journey so i hope i was able to answer some of the questions if not all and uh, in conclusion i would just like to say that it it's a definitely it's definitely a tough but rewarding field and if you're someone who's passionate about flying technology space this could be your dream career uh, do leave your questions in the comments below i'll try to answer as many as i can in the next upcoming videos that i uh, that i'm planning to make uh, on specific topics where i'll elaborate more i hope i was able to help uh, if not entirely then at some detail and thank you thanks for watching subscribe whatever that is Bye, I'll see you guys later. Bye, I'll see you later.